Welcome back to the simply stunning, borderline unbelievable and out of this world, Cabot St. Lucia. Look at that. Honestly, I've never seen anything like it. Don't forget to catch the front nine, which will be linked at the top right. But here we go with hole 10, driver in hand, very much uphill par for this. Not a long one, though. Piped that up the left. Tried to capture some of Dell's commentary because it was borderline incredible. And he's such a nice guy as well. And we're trying not to think too much about the golf because this is a bucket list round of golf for me. So score doesn't really matter, although I'd like to play well. Found my ball in this native grass, which is thick. Only 98 or so yards into this green, but I couldn't get it there with the 50 degree. Just duffed it up there short left. Hopefully we can get up and down though. First look at the ocean on the back nine. Absolutely incredible navy blue. Anywho, had a bit of a slope to negotiate with that chip, which I didn't quite manage. It just clung on though. Don't watch this putt, just enjoy the view from behind. Because the putt was abysmal. The views are absolutely insane. And we've made our first bogey. But never mind. Having the time of my life. Back in land for this shot then. Long downhill par 4. Actually longer than most of the par 5s. But it plays downhill. And a long way downwind. So I've hit that as hard as I can. Dell's absolutely loving it. And so am I. That seems to have gone an absolute mile. It's carried those bunkers. <laughs> Dell's telling you to subscribe. I'm hoping you subscribe too. Lots more to come from the channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 subs. Anyway, just a quiet 370. Leaving us 111 in. So just a chippy 50 degree. For some reason, only had a 50 degree and a 60 degree in my rental clubs. And I've careered that straight over the back of the green. And we're in golfing prison. Huge slope to contend with. Had to get it over that. And now we've got a monstrous par putt. Having hit a humongous tee shot. Suddenly struggling to even make burger here. Up and over the slope then. Really good for line, but it's just trickled on by. Need to get the pro reading. There we go, just outside right edge. Started it there, and yes, in the end, a decent two put bogey. Makes us two over for the back nine, and four over in total. Another downhill par four then, another long one. Just aiming for the right centre of the fairway then. Dell had a few concerns about this, but I was convinced it was fine. Left was definite no-go. And here we are, dead centre of the fairway. I was right for once. And now we have an almost identical approach shot to the last hole. Have I learnt anything? Trying to use the contours of the ground here to bounce it in from the right. Which I think I've done. That was 109 yards and tried to play about an 85, 90 yard shot. And I've still ended up long. So even though it's a green in regulation, these greens are absolutely humongous and all kinds of wild slopes. And it's like putting on glass. Believe it or not, that was not a bad effort in the end. Still left a tiddler, but I've managed to make that one, and that's the first par of the back nine. However, things don't get any easier. Another 450 plus par four, but we're working our way back towards the sea now. Good drive required. That's a stealth two in the bag, which I've never used before. And I actually loved it. Yeah, yeah. Kept yeah. hitting a few Healy Dans, but I don't care if it goes straight. 
And here we go then, second shot from the middle of the fairway. Pretty obvious where all the trouble is here. So I'm trying to hit a fade from the left hand side back to this pin. And it's a bit of a tuggy straight one unfortunately. I've avoided all the massive trouble, but one of the difficulties here is the green complexes are insane. So even though I'm not in the bunker or the water, this is no easy up and down. Hugely downhill from here. Didn't actually think it was possible to leave the ball short. So I'll take that as a win. But this is a very naughty putt. Tried to start that outside left and I've still missed it. A good eight inches right. And that'll be another bogey. But I'm not concerned. Only... A 591 yard into the wind par 5 to deal with. And now once you crest that hill in the distance, which is where I'm aiming my drive. Or rather where Dell's told me to aim my drive. Just look at what awaits you here. Obviously in the middle of the fairway, driver was automatic. But I still have 332 yards. But what a view. Hard to even concentrate. Just laying up with a four iron, trying to hit this about 230 down the left centre. And that's exactly what I've done. Did exactly what Dell told me. Nice little high five. Wanted to give him a hug, but thought that might be a bit strange. Left myself a nice 50 degree yardage then. Unfortunately, that's one of my worst swings of the day. I've just hung it way out to the right and it's got caught up in the wind. And now having hit two good shots, we now need to hit some seriously good putts to get this anywhere near. Huge amount of break. Really just wanted to crest that hill and let it feed down, but I hit it too hard. Not to worry, the view's absolutely unbelievable. Golf may be not my best. But there was a lot on my mind. The following day from this round of golf, I was actually getting married. So, big things to think about. And, wow. I'm running out of superlatives. We've got a forced carry of about 210 yards here. Should have that in the locker with the driver. All being well. Was aiming that at the left green side bunk, but I pulled it a bit. Dell thinks it's absolutely fine, but for the first time today, he could not have been more wrong. But let's just have a quick look at that. That's sensational. This is awful. That is such a steep slope that I could barely even get the club on the ball from this stance. So honestly, just happy to make contact. And we're just short of the false front here, so need to give this a good three to get it up the green. Didn't do that at all. So I decided, let's just enjoy the view instead of reading this next putt. Because really the golf doesn't matter, we're just here to have fun. Like Dell said, that was quite a good putt to be honest, but it's still a two putt bogey. And we're now up to seven over, so it's not quite the golf I was hoping for. But what does it matter when you see holes like this? This is the greatest looking golf hole I've ever seen. Let me know in the comments if you would happen to agree with that statement or if you've seen better. And that's one of the better golf shots I've ever hit considering it's a forced carry over the ocean and a raft of bunkers. So I've got Dell in to help me yet again. He's saying just outside left, and this is like lightning down the slope. Yes, boys. First birdie of the back nine, and that's actually another two. We made one on the front nine. And now the walk up to the secret tee box, which you might have seen on the Eric Anders Lang Golf Channel. What a view. And what an insane par three. Little seven iron then. Wind's off the right, as Dell's telling me. I can miss left, apparently. 
Unfortunately, oh. Dell's backside is covering the flag, but that is a beautiful strike. I've just yeah. tried to hold a fade into the wind. And I'm happy as Larry to be on the green, whoever he is. And now we've got some liquid sunshine, which developed a double rainbow. Things just seem to be getting better and better as we go here. Not the putt, though. That wasn't spectacular. Terrified of the downhill, but I'll tap in for a three. And unfortunately for me, I'm on to the last. A fairly short par five down the hill. Just need a good drive, and we've got every chance of getting there in two here. And surprise, surprise, with the way the driver's been going today, that's ideal. Just rolling towards the right-hand side of the fairway, but everybody's happy. I'm happy. I'm getting borderline emotional. And my second shot is just a pitching wedge into this par 5. Pin hard onto the left side, so probably not a good idea to go for it. But I've pulled that a long, long way. And it's heading for that green side bunker. And to add to my woes, it's plugged the worst ever. So just happy to get out here if I can. Which I have. I've actually played a stonking shot and I'm delighted to say this is for birdie. What a way to finish this would be. Come on. Ah. Not my best. But I really hope you've enjoyed watching. What a golf course. Get out here. It's bucket list-esque. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.